Hello everyone, this is today's video analysis for September 17, 2019. Today we're taking a look at the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. For today's trade analysis, looking here at the daily time frame, a couple of things to point out here. Right now, it's, it's almost a little tough to de determine trend because we have multiple trends here on this chart. We have a downtrend here, uh, a little bit of an uptrend here, then the market last week turned lower again, and now we see the market going right back up. So trend-wise, if you're wanting to trade a longer-term trend, that seems to change every couple of weeks here for the dollar CAD, where we see falling, rising, and falling, and rising. So that begins to get a little bit more difficult when you're looking at a chart like this. However, uh, I think you can go on a couple of other things here for the currency pair. And let me take these trend lines off now just because they're kind of in the way. But let's look at a couple of other things that might give us confidence in our trade decisions. First off, the yellow shaded area, 1.324060. We look back in time. And I'm just going to highlight a couple of things here. Historically, we see support right here. The black circle shows an area of significant support and the market bound up for a while making a new high. Uh, not too far behind that we see a couple of areas here of resistance. Keep in mind that this is the daily time frame so this is several days right here where this black circle is that the market bound supported the ping zone resistance at the yellow shader. Let's go back a little bit more right back here we see clear support right there at the yellow shaded area and one more uh, if we look far left hand side of the chart we see support at the yellow shaded area so we know with fact statistical fact that this yellow zone has been a significant decision point for the market anybody buying or selling even the 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 big market itself buying or selling the dollar cad there's been a lot of evidence of some decisions being made right around this yellow shaded area and so if the market is doing that with some consistency then you and I as individual traders have the ability to make our trading decisions here at this same area something else that I've been looking at here is the 200 100 period moving average 200 period is the blue line 100 period simple moving average is the green line uh, they crossed a couple of weeks ago we see them cross lower so 100 under the 200 implies a shift bearish a shift to the downside for the dollar cat doesn't guarantee it's gonna go down it could just simply cross and go back up but at least right now it is underneath and we are capping resistance at the yellow zone, but not only the yellow zone, the 100 period moving average. That, so that gives us some increased confidence that we're looking at resistance right here into that yellow shader, 1.324060. Without any guarantees, of course, it could just simply push on right through there and go back up. But that's what we're seeing right now. Historical support resistance. 100 period moving average capping our market price for the past two days now the third day in a row holding right there into that same level let's zoom it down to the four hour time frame uh, we did see a little bit of a gap from the weekend it's pretty much come up and filled that in so i'm not too concerned with that gap right now so we know that the yellow zones are area let's do one other thing let's take fibonacci from the high to the low the last little high to low Fibonacci there puts the 50% retracement level now remember the 50% retracement level is simply a retracement point it's a commonly held and understood retracement point it's not any really anything to do with Fibonacci but a commonly held understood retracement point so halfway of that little downtrend we're sitting there capped as resistance right there at the top of the yellow shaded area so when we're looking for low risk and high reward we're often looking for if we're especially if we're looking to go short we're looking to do that into resistance so this becomes our spot to consider opportunities to be short here on the dollar cad under the 50 percent under historical support resistance remember the daily moving average sitting there and one last thing forex black book is red the trend bar is red at the bottom that gives us a uh, an expectation of bearish a shift in bearish momentum and we also have a red arrow developing today here the red arrow along with the red trend bar with that indicator implies a shift bearish so if that's going to be true then we look for selling opportunities on rallies and resistance looking for the direction to begin to shift back in that direction stop losses if you decide to take a short here of course i think probably needs to be above the weekly high which is 
the close of Friday and of course we'll target back down to the pink zone and possibly down to the green zone on the way down buying right now I think is a little bit more difficult obviously we're at resistance we're into a couple of indicators that indicate resistance even the 100 period moving average so buying I think becomes a little bit more difficult not impossible you know clearly if it breaks above this yellow zone then that becomes the opportunity you might be looking for to take a long shot here keeping an eye on the US dollar keeping an eye on news out of Canada this week we know there's significant news out of both US and Canada this week so we'll keep an eye on that but for now uh, until it or unless it breaks above 3260 I'm not really in the mood to buy this I think selling it may be our better opportunity with lower risk and higher reward for the dollar cad today from Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.